What's up? Um, <clears throat> Wait, what was I? Oh yeah, I remember. Um, so obviously on this vlog I talk about, you know, what I do, but I also talk about what I think about and what I learn and I want to share my lessons. But here's a problem. I don't know shit. So everything I say comes with a grain of salt. And obviously, I'm trying to work on that, right? And there are two main reasons you can basically work on that, in my opinion. Number one is, um, you know, trial and error, learning through making mistakes. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm constantly doing. I'm making a lot of mistakes and hopefully learning a little bit from it. And then the other way to learn is actually look at other people who have done what you have done and hear what they have to say. And one of these amazing people that I truly respect more than maybe anyone else is Scooter Braun. Um, and I thought, you know, I'm learning from him, but why shouldn't I just put whatever I think is interesting into the vlog instead of, you know, me trying to somehow, you know, say what he is trying to say because I might be misunderstanding him. So from now on, if I'm consuming a certain piece of content that could be like a video or a podcast, why shouldn't I just include part of that, like a clip, like one little snippet that I think is interesting into it? And so I was just watching um, Scooter Braun, the, the thingy he did with Success Magazine, and he was saying something super interesting in my opinion. So instead of me trying to somehow convey that message, I'm just gonna put the clip in here now. There you go. And when I did, uh, when I did the, the cover of Success, I actually asked him, I was like, you know, it's a weird title for you guys to have. I'm sure it's really interesting because that definition of what is success is such an interesting thing to talk about because as a society, we all have very different definitions. And I guess what I want to do with social media and what I choose to do is I want to change the definition of my business that you can be a good husband, a good father, and a good friend and still be successful and, and have the right intentions. And there's always going to be people who talk shit. I'm doing a benefit on Tuesday. I'm supposed to be in Hawaii on vacation this week. Cancel the vacation. I'm doing the benefit. I have people who just finished the VMAs and they were supposed to take a vacation producing the VMAs and they're now producing the show for me pro bono. And people are like, Oh, look at you getting these celebrities together so they can just look good. You know what? That's fine. There's a lot of people that are going to think that. But when we raise 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 million dollars for people that need it, call me whatever the fuck you want. Um, I got to stop cursing. I got to stop doing that. I'm a um, dad now. So, so when's the last time? But I'm also a Jets fan. I curse a yeah, lot. Yeah, me too. It's, 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 it's a hard <laughs> life. But it's good, though. For any football fans, first of all, if you don't know football, let me explain. My team is the worst team in the NFL. Like, we might just go 0-16. We are not very good right now. But for my son, you know how important it is that he's a Jets fan? For my two boys? Because they are about to live this extraordinary life surrounded by celebrity and wealth and all this different stuff. But every Sunday, they will be losers. <laughs> and they will be humbled. <laughs> so, um, yes, if you don't know Scooter Braun, definitely check him out. I'm one of the most incredible people, but not only incredible people in terms of the successes he had, but also like the, the kind of person he is. Um, and let me know what you think about the idea of actually including like little snippets of, you know, a YouTube video or a podcast, something that I consume into the vlog. Also, what I just decided to do, I'm going to start a playlist. Um, I think I called it now recommended to watch with stuff I like and stuff I watched and stuff that inspires me um, that is not from me. Um, and I'm going to make it a public playlist obviously um and yeah i'm gonna put stuff in there so if you are ever you know if you ever want to watch some stuff or you're interested in the stuff that i sometimes go to to you know get inspired from or learn from specifically um go there i'm gonna put it on the home page um obviously i never i never archived all the stuff that i like 
So now that I, I only put two stuff in there and the scooter brawn thing is one of them. Um, so this stuff will fill up over time. All right, I edited it. So on the on my on my homepage, uh, there's now a playlist called Stuff I Learned From. Um, and I went a bit through my history of stuff I watched. And so I just added some of the recent stuff. Um, that I watched and I put it in there. It's mostly podcasts and long form, long form videos. Also one one music video, which I thought was inspirational. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any other stuff that you feel like I should watch. That is like interesting, educational, inspirational, whatever the fuck that means. Um, just comment down below. Um, I might watch it, I might not watch it because I still have a fucking long list of stuff I wanna watch once I find the time. Um, but I'm going to use that thing to, you know, add stuff, um, if I find something that I think is interesting and that can be anything. So yeah, let me know if you have any recommendations and on that note, I'm going to sign out. So, see you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit I just wanna make a trip to the child